Well, I'm back on the job that we got run off of a few weeks ago. The uh, neighboring landowner didn't remember giving permission for us to come through here and and clear a path. They're they're logging about 30 some acres back in the back, and it's a fairly large track of timber. A lot of big stuff, as you can see. And this is their only access was through this piece of property that is jointly owned between two family members so we started clearing and he didn't like it and told us to leave but now they got it figured out and we're back and we're trying to put in a road ice <laughs> it is wet back here buddy but uh cut out all the topsoil about a foot deep it's just as wet as it can be it did sprinkle again last night that's where all this water come from but we're putting fabric down in a stone base to be able to get trucks back here because they got to bring all the equipment and all the log trucks have got to come through here so hundred and some tractor trailer probably got to come in here I don't know how many tractor trailer loads they get to an acre but several I would imagine um I got to clear back a little bit more I got a big uh, creek across here we're just gonna put a piece of 24 inch plastic pipe in here I'm just clearing it good enough part of the agreement was they don't want any of this stuff piled against the short the edge of the path so we've got to skid steer it all down about a quarter of a mile to where the track of timber is but I started clearing this little path well, like I said, I got to be able to get tractor trailers through here. So, um, it's not going to be fun. But, uh, it's doable. It's completely doable. But they don't want to take any big trees down, so I got to wiggle through all the, the small trees here, all the way to the back. And, uh, make it happen pretty much. So, I just threw this brush in here to get in here. I'm going to go back to the back. Tim, Tim's going to keep pushing the uh, stone off. And I'm going to keep clearing. So I've gotten cleared on down. That's where the machine was parked way down there this morning. Got my trail cleared all the way through the woods here. Do a little high speed here. This is going to be the tightest spot. It's this land right here is owned by two different people. One doesn't want to lose any big trees, and the other one doesn't care. So we took the small trees out, trying to build a path. We had to come in here with this kid steering the grapple and grab all this stuff and track it all the way to the back back here. We got this cleared before lunchtime all the way back here. Take it in, breaking it up and piling it along the sides here. So Tim can come in here to skid steer and to grapple and grab it. Got another wet crossing right here to deal with. But I've got to go and clear. We tied back into an existing old trail. And I got to clear all through there, widen that out a little bit and then make a spot when it comes to the track of land that they're gonna cut to pile all this crap up on. Alrighty. I'm going to put in about 20, five or six foot of plastic pipe.
lined up where it needs to go. Slide it up this way just a touch. Yeah, the truck will come right in here. I think that's good there. Let me put a scoop of dirt on it. that rubber piece trying to pull off on the gasket looks like it is the rubber piece trying to pull off can you pull it out the piece of pipe if you can pull it out and I'll take it out I need to cut that down like an inch or two Put the uh, put the rubber piece back on there. I'm gonna pick it up and set it out. I need to dig that down like an inch or two. It's not sitting in there right.
already halfway back here. This is still how far I've got to track it to. I've got to go all the way down to where they're going to clear cut everything because that land is owned by one individual. The person is having it all cut. I guess it's gonna 